What's up everybody, back to another video for you guys and this is my fourth try trying to record this. Oh man, this is hard. Uh, but yeah, um, as you see in the title, I got tested for COVID. Uh, well, I got tested positive for COVID twice. And the first time I got tested was uh, December 30th, which was on a Wednesday. And I've been feeling the symptoms for about two days. So I've been in quarantine since Monday, the 28th, December 28th, uh, till, till today, which is Tuesday. And I got tested again yesterday, January 4th, because I've been, I've been feeling a little bit better. Uh, I don't have as many sim symptoms as I did have, which I'll go over in a, in a bit. And I got tested positive again. Um, I should have waited at least 10 days, at least 10 days. Uh, but now considering I'm positive again, I might wait 14 days and see, I'll test again. So I'll probably get tested again next week. But hopefully, you know, this video can help some of you guys out. Um, so the first time I got tested, I was just feeling dizzy while I was walking. Uh, not so f good. My stomach felt really weird. I felt like throwing up and I had stomach pain. I had headache, a sore throat, things along those lines. Um, and that first night of me finding out I was positive for COVID, I don't know if I already talked about this because I've been through four videos, four of these uh, recordings. But yeah, I was staying in bed. Uh, I was trying to go to sleep and then I woke up with sweats. I was sweating all over my arms, uh, all over these arms, sweating all over my uh, upper body. And I usually f go to sleep with no shirt on. And I thought I was dreaming. And that was for like two, three days. And I, I wasn't dreaming because my, my sh bed sheets were wet. Um, and I was just like, holy moly. I, it was crazy. I was like, what? I was just sweating. Like, like to give you an idea, like I felt like I just got out of the shower where my only my upper body got out my the shower, if that if that gives you a picture. But yeah, it's a scary situation knowing uh, you have COVID. You know, I just spent, spent that first day just thinking. I was just thinking, thinking, thinking. I was just like, man, I got to call people and just tell them it's just scary you know um uh also another thing i wanted to talk about um i guess after oh, i talked to a doctor i don't know if this is valid maybe somebody in the comment section can let me know but i talked to about three people about this and apparently after the after 10 to 14 days after the fourteenth day of of uh, quarantine, apparently you might you're you might not you won't be contagious. Um, so that means you could still have COVID and still go out to the world and not pass it on, uh, which just seems weird to me. I already heard stories of people in the workplace having COVID, but not you know just being careful because they did their quarantine already. So it just seems weird. Um, to go out there back in the world after 14 days and still being positive, knowing I'm positive and it just feels like you can't have any close interactions, if that makes sense. You're, you're doing the social distancing, you're doing all of that, uh, but it feels like it's like times two social distance, but 12 feet, you know, like that's just how I feel. And if I touch something, I, I got to keep it. I can't put it back where, uh, you know, so yeah, it's a, it's a scary situation. I don't know how I feel about that going back into the world, even if I'm still positive, cause I got tested positive again and I might test again another time next week when it's 14 days in, uh, quarantine. Um, I don't know how my workplace is going to feel about that. I do feel a lot better, but it just seems so weird to do that um but yeah hopefully all of you that are watching this just stay calm try it i know it, <laughs> i know that's hard but hey you know doctor told me vitamin c vitamin d 
and zinc. So those three things, uh, if somebody, a loved one of yours can provide that for you, maybe get you a bunch of, uh, what is that called? Orange juice, uh, like some milk. Zinc, I don't know what many things have with zinc, but the doctor said just, you know, get it over the counter so a loved, a loved one can get that for you. So those three things I've been doing almost every day, the orange juice for sure, the milk every day, not the zinc every day, but yes, yeah, try to stay healthy. Uh, I've been walking around my house for a form of exercise. I'm fairly out of shape, but hopefully this is some, uh, this video helps some of you guys. Um, and yeah. Uh, I'm a, if you have any questions, let me know. Uh, put it in the comments, uh, comment section. I'll see if I could help you out. But anyways, guys, I'm going to end the video there. My name is JD, and I'm out. Peace.